it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video and i want to talk about koti today i want to do an update on this because i made a video about this the other day and i explained some of the reasons why i was bullish on this token is one of my favorite tokens and i believe that it's actually going to get a nice move to the upside if it continues uh, the way it's going at the moment okay guys now we talked about the fact that they have ed debit card coming out uh, and they also have the Koti Bank current accounts that are coming. They've also got the Koti NFTs. They've got the Ada Pay. They've got Apple Pay. They've got all sorts going on. And I think, you know, right now, after this massive pullback that we've seen and in this falling wedge uh, triangle pattern that uh, that we're actually breaking out of now, I think there's going to be a huge move to the upside for this token. And this one is always a little bit of a slow mover. Okay, guys. But right about now, we've seen some massive moves out of a lot of really cool tokens. And Koti is definitely a very good token. It's a utility token. It's got use case. It's got its own blockchain, a trust chain. And I think that this is uh, definitely a good long-term investment. But even in a very short to mid-term, mid -term, I think we're going to get a massive move out of Koti. So as you can see, I have my uh, falling wedge pattern drawn out it's a bit of a messy one okay guys because there have been lots of indecision in the market we see a few wicks all right guys and people are buying this up and right now we are on a one day chart by the way and right now we can see we actually have a breakout of this descending resistance all right guys you might argue that this is not the neatest uh, drawing but if we take it from here even and we kind of draw that resistance down you'll see that we have a breakout uh, let's just change the color of that we have a breakout of that uh, resistance okay guys so um for me that looks really good all right and um hopefully we get the one day close outside of this level a lot of other people will see that and they will potentially buy this accordingly okay guys so another thing i want to talk about uh is the volume okay so we have the descending volume on this channel okay again a little bit messy but we have the descending oh we have descending volume okay so it would be nice to see a volume breakout a green volume breakout to the upside as well just to give that that extra little push we have the 100 day or 99 day close moving down towards this level so i reckon that we'll actually get a push up toward that level okay guys in terms of resistance uh, and potential targets you can see that there is a target right here uh, let's just change the color of that there's a target right here, uh, approximately 15.2 cents, currently sitting at 11 cents, all right, guys, and I've actually been holding this, I've front run uh, this pattern, okay, because because it was in the apex of the triangle, I believe that we're going to get a breakout of it, and rightly so, we've got to bounce off this level, and we've got a clear breakout uh, so far um, on that, and of course, we will go down in the lower time frames to look at the... Uh, the lower time frames and see exactly how it looks from there we're moving average here right now in a 25 day close but you know if we can get above that um obviously this will be the first target around 15.2 cents if we do break that level then we are looking at higher targets and we're basically trading the horizontals we're looking for higher levels of resistance around these areas obviously we can look at the underneath and uh, that kind of matches up with there so if we go up to about here i would say that that could potentially be a target but of course, there is going to be um, some resistance coming through from the 99 day close. But you could pot uh, potentially see 28 cents, which will be in the short term. OK, obviously, if Bitcoin and the, the whole cryptocurrency market continues to turn around, obviously, we'll be looking at the higher targets of the previous highs around 52 uh, uh, between between 52 and 50 and 60 cents. All right, guys, so obviously that will be the ultimate target. And of course, it is safe to take profits in the middle of this range, just in case if you were looking at this as a very short term play and kind of look at this level over here. All right, guys, and it might be a little bit lower um, because the moving average is trending down. But that would be one of the safer targets if you are looking at this on the one day chart. If we go down to the four hour, you'll see that it is right now touching uh, a little bit of potential resistance at the moment. You can see that this level is a very small level of resistance. Let's just make that bigger. And we have it bouncing off the uh, the moving average over here as well, or just about to. All right, so I do expect just a little bit of rejection. But, you know, and it can also get a little bit of a pull back, back down to the resistance line, which will become a new support around 10 cents. 
and po possibly even get a bounce and we, then we can begin to see a test on this level up here around 15 cents or you know it could be slightly lower or it could be slightly higher okay guys but um, that's what we're looking at and it all depends on the volume but the volume does look really good we are getting that volume break to the upside the RSI is about to go into the overbought territory but the RSI can trick you sometimes and it can hang around in this area <coughs> And it can hang around in this area on the higher time frames for quite a while. All right, guys, so I don't expect it to go up and then fall straight back down. I expect it to come into this range and then begin to move sideways a little bit in that range. And that will obviously be bullish for the price action on this. Okay, guys, so I think Cody is definitely a contender for a short to midterm hold and especially for a long term hold considering all the things that they've got going on. All right, guys, so I just thought I'd share that with you. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Like the video, that definitely helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment down below, and I'll try to read them and respond to them as best as I can. And that's about it, and I'll see you in the next video.